Hello everyone, I am Bhagyashri Lamture from ASSMS IIT. In this video, we will see the priori algorithm that is a one point or uh, the one association rule. Yes, association rule. <coughs> the association rule mining finds interesting associations and the relationships among large sets of data items. For example, market basket analysis uh, is a technique used by various big retailers to discover the association between items. This is an example that is the transaction ID and the items bread, milk, bread, diaper, beer, eggs, may, uh, milk, diaper, beer, and so Okay. So, what is the association rule? Says that if an else statement, <coughs> it, uh, the learning works on the concept of if and L statement. Now, suppose if A, then B. If I buy a mal, then bread. Okay, like that way. Now, for for association rules, they are having two algorithms, a priori and the FP growth. Next video, we will see FP growth. Here, we will see the priori. The priori refers to the algorithm which is used to calculate association rules between objects. It means how two or more objects are related to one other. For example, item uh, the items customer by a big bazaar. Why uh, that is a uh, a priori algorithm is used there. A priori algorithm helps the customers to buy their products with ease and uh, ease and the increases the sales of performance for the particular store. Now here we can see the example. Um, 4000 customer transaction in a big bazaar now you have to calculate support confident lift for two product you may say that biscuit and chocolates this is because, because customers frequently buy these two items together okay now here we can see the transaction 4000 transactions total 400 content bis biscuits 600 content chocolate and the 600 uh, 600 transaction include on um, 200 that included biscuit and the chocolates okay now we will see find out the support confidence now for the support biscuit transactions related biscuits that divided by total transactions so 400 divided by 4000 10 percent we get the for the confident transaction relating both biscuits and chocolate that is 200 and the total transaction 400 so we get the confidence as a 50 percent now left the confidence biscuit minus chocolates and the support biscuits so 50 by 10 that is a 5 I1, I3, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, I1, I3 having the 4. Now, calculate uh, support count for each pair of item sets. Now, those who having <coughs> support value uh, that is uh, less than the support count that is less than 2. So, that will not consider for the next. So, I1, I4, then I3, I4 and the i4 i5 that will not yes so after that we got this candidate set the minimum support is 2 yes now next generate a uh, join step that is a c3 or the candidate set c3 for pairing or joining three item sets i1 i2 i3 i1 i2 i5 i1 i3 i5 okay and so on and same calculate the support count now here we got the i1 i2 i3 2 and i1 i2 i5 are having the 2 i1 i2 i5 having the 2 those who are having the uh, less than uh, support count okay so that will not considerable for the next <coughs> so this is a <coughs> final association rule the item sets i1 i2 i3 the support count is 2 and the next item set i1 i2 i5 okay thank you